Hey guys, Ty here. Welcome back to Bassin 101. I just wanted to give y'all an update on the Sluggo modification I made the other day. Are you ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. So if you caught the video the other day I did on modifying sluggos, um, I mentioned to you that, you know, after you boil them, and after a few days, they'll start to settle, they'll start to harden up a little bit. Well, I got the perfect example of that. This is the original sluggo that has not been modified. Again, you can see how the tail goes. Now, this is the one I boiled three or four days ago. See how a little bit more stiffened up? It was about down here. And now it's sitting up here. And you can look at the difference. But if you see how hard that plastic is, about the same thing. See what I'm talking about? The density stays the same, but it's right in here where these slits are, that's where the flexibility comes in. As far as the head, I can hold the head sideways, they're doing the exact same thing. And then you've got the flexibility you want in that lower, but you still have that hardness, so it's not going to tear up on you. you see how much, see what I'm talking about as far as difference? There's a a lot more shaking that one on the left than there is on the right. That's what I'm saying. And again, guys, I've experimented with this stuff for years and years and years. And I and I just learned with different plastics how long to boil them. 15 seconds. That's all you need. 20, you're pushing it. I know that sounds kind of stupid. But this stuff changes rapidly in boiling water. I mean rapidly. So you got to be very careful about this. Especially if you get kinked baits and you lay them flat on the paper towel, it'll straighten them up. Don't worry about that. It'll straighten up every time. Curl, curl tail baits. Lay it down flat with a curl tail just like it's in a mold. It'll straighten up. Don't worry about that. So I just want to give you an update on how that is. And next time I do one, like I said, it's going to be a Berkeley Power Worm. And you'd be surprised how soft those things get. As a matter of fact, let me go grab one and I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Okay, the Berkeley Power Worm. As far as I'm concerned, blue fleck. Is there any other color in these? I don't think so. I want you to see something. How many of you guys see a Power Worm do that? Look how flexible that is. And I bowled this a year ago. Look at that. How many of you guys see a power worm do something like that? And have that much movement. Even the head falls right over. And the texture? Still there. But it's a little softer, so it'll be a little easier to get a hook through. And it still stinks. The time on these is very, very important because if you underboil them, this ain't going to change. If you overboil them, not only do they get too soft, but you boil all the power bait out of it. And it, I've actually watched it happen within just a five second time period because you'll see it float to the surface of the bowl. So we'll do this some other time on how to boil these things. So I know a lot of you guys out there use power worms. Basically, if I'm using any kind of a ribbon tail worm, that's it. That's what I use. Um, but it is not in my everyday box because I have another particular worm that I prefer to use myself. 
But again, just want to give you guys an update on that sluggo. I want to keep this short. So I'll catch you guys next time. May the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. Tight lines to everybody. Till next time.